country to three World Cup titles was more than anyone could have imagined, including the man himself. I don't know why God gave to me this experience, because uh, just to tell the truth, I, didn't, I never expected to be, you know, Pelé or to be well known all over the world. I never. I wanted to be, you know, football player. I want to be like my father. <laughs> you know. Now the inspirational rags to riches story has been immortalized on the silver screen. Pele, birth of a legend, premiered at New York's Tribeca Film Festival over the weekend, and it goes on general release next month. You've said you were emotional and you cried when you saw some of the scenes from the film. Why was that? Because I started to remember, you know, some, uh, you know, the beginning of my <laughs> my career. Uh, I am emotion normally. You know, I cry is easy. The image that's been used to promote the film is your iconic overhead kick. How were you able to perfect it? I think, first of all, it is, is a gift from God. Second, I think it was a lot of uh, work, hard work and training. My father insists to me to re repeat, repeat. Even sometimes I say, oh, okay. He said, no, it's not okay. <laughs> Let's practice a little bit more. The film was written and directed by two American brothers, Jeff and Michael Zimbalist, who couldn't believe their luck when Pele agreed to the project. There is a certain magical presence that enters um, with Pele. We can have all of the big swells of emotion and the riveting play action of a classic sports narrative, but we can also have this deeply personal and psychological journey where Pele himself, as a young kid, is trying to harness his talents, his gift, to help his country in much the same way that a superhero might need to harness his superpowers to save the world. The film focuses mainly on Pelé's early days, his rise from a poor shoe shiner to a prodigious teenage talent and a world champion at the age of just 17. But the Pelé of today is more human than God. He's 75 and needs support to move around. He's had several health scares in recent years, but despite everything, he hasn't lost his sense of humor. Only now, after I stop to play football, then I get this problem, the hip problem. I have to replace the hip. I thanks God because uh, I think two or three uh, weeks more after the physiotherapy, then I'm going to be prepared for the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympics are coming, and they're coming at a time, unfortunately, when the Brazilian economy is struggling, the government is in disarray. How concerned are you that this is the Brazil that the world will see this summer? Unfortunately, now we have this, no, I think, not good moment. Uh, but in the meantime, I think it's more important we to make it, you know, the, the best to organize well, you know, the uh, Olympics. Because if Brazil was, you know, become famous because of the World Cup, I think the Olympics in Brazil now could you know, prove to the people we are the same, we can organize well, but uh, this is a, for us is a little shame, the situation in Brazil. But whatever happens in Rio this summer, Pele's triumph will never be diminished, and this film will certainly give his legacy.